Hey everyone, hi, this is Singh Kat, physical therapist at Shore Care Therapy and Wellness. And today I'm gonna show you how to stretch your legs. I'm gonna show you how to stretch hamstring, your quad, your IT band, your piriformis muscles, and your hip flexors, iliopsoas, right? This one. This video is mainly for people for day-to-day -day life. They're getting stiff, having some aches and pains in the knee, hip. They wake up and like, you know, with some stiffness, some aches and pain in the joint. So this video can really help them because many times I hear the question, why do I need to do stretching? What kind of stretching do I need to do? And what it does to my body, okay? So I'm gonna show you some modification during the stretching as well. So if your muscles are so tight and you cannot do regular stretching, how you can modify and still get the better effect, okay? The first question is, what are the different types of stretching? So mainly there are three types of stretching, static stretching, dynamic stretching, and PNF stretching, okay? There are more categories too, but the reason I said mainly this three stretching is because the other stretching you can kind of put under this three main category, you know? So static stretching is basically you hold the position for a long time, almost like 30 seconds. The goal for that static stretching is to lengthen the muscle. So if someone has very, very tight muscles, let's say your hamstring is very tight, then the static stretching of the hamstring holding 30 seconds helps you to lengthen the muscle. The stretching, normally when you do everyday stretching, roughly about in a month, you can lengthen the muscle by one centimeter if you consistently doing the stretching. Okay, so if you're just doing few days and then you're trying to see that like, you know, you got improvement, no, you have to consistently do it. You got to make sure you keep on doing it so you can see the better results over the time. The dynamic stretching is more before the sport. So let's say you're going for running. Okay, so you have a habit of running. So when you're running, before that, you're stretching those muscles that are required in the running. The dynamic stretching is basically you involving that action of the activity. It could be running, walking, playing basketball, uh, football, or any activities. But that particular action that required repeatedly in that uh, activity, you stretch in that particular motion. Okay, so that's the dynamic stretching. So PNF stretching is a little bit advanced stretching. So that does have more categories in it. Like, you know, you hold and relax and contract relax. There are more to it. I wanted to make sure that you understand the simple stretching that you can do every day in your day-to-day -day life and you feel better. So the goal is that you can walk around, you can do some simple activities or running or walking or some uh, playing with your kids or something like that without feeling any tightness. Why do we need a stretching? We need a stretching because your muscle has to be flexible because our body moves normal when your muscles are not tight, okay? Just imagine like, you know, my hamstrings are tight. I'll give you an example of my hamstring. So let's say my hamstrings are tight. So hamstring is a, like a muscle on the back of the thigh. If that is tight, uh, tight then it's going to pull my whole pelvic back like this. So that's going to tilt my pelvic backward like this. So think about it, a whole day you're walking around in this position. You build up some tension in your back because of that. Your curvature on the back get compromised and eventually you can get a back pain. That's just the one example. Every muscle has a meaning. Every muscle has an action. So every muscle when functioning well, your posture is neutral, normal, and your body will move better. So as a physical therapist, we do the assessment of the body and first thing we check is to make sure all the muscles are in a proper length that the body the joint is moving without any limitation many times when you do the right stretching small aches and pains can be taken care of just by stretching so let's perform the stretching the first stretching i'm going to show you is the hamstring it's a very common stretching many people already know about stretching i'll show you some variation in it you can do in standing, sitting, but I'm going to show you in laying down. So in that static stretching, as I said, there are different categories like active stretching, active assisted stretching, passive stretching. Forget about all those things. All I'm going to show you is what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. 
you can use the belt as an assistant. Uh, you can use a gate belt if you have it. You can use a waist belt if you have it. You can use a towel if you have it. So the first position is you're gonna lay down and then keep this leg down and lift up like this. My knee is straight. So when I feel the stretch right here, I can feel the tightness. I'm just gonna go a little bit more than that. And then I'm gonna hold for almost 25 to 30 seconds. Now, now the variation to this, if someone has very limited and like they're having some issue with the back, you can try to bend this leg and then try to go up. Or if you don't have a belt, you wanted to do stretching without it, simply you're going to lift your leg, hold it right here and pull it. That's the stretching for the hamstring. Make sure you breathe normally throughout the stretch. Second stretch is the IT band. What is IT band? The IT band runs from here all the way down to the knee. Runners, people who walk a lot, people who have some pain on the outside of the knee or like around the outside of the thigh, there are high chances that you have tight IT band. Okay, so how do you stretch that? So with the belt, you keep your leg low, your ankle in, and you're gonna go like this. And make sure your knee is straight. Don't bend it like this. Keep it straight and go in. You should feel the stretch in the side of the thigh. And 25 to 30 second hold, and relax. Second way to do it, is keep your legs uh, straight. I'm gonna stretch my left leg IT band. I'm gonna keep my one leg here and up like this. Keep your leg, leg straight and up. So I'm more on the, more, more from the hip side than the back, okay? So if I'm doing more from the back, I'm gonna feel the stretch on the side of the back as well. But if you more you come from the hip, more you're gonna feel it, okay? So as you see, I'm almost sitting down. I'm not kind of curving my back. I'm more like sit up position. Then I can feel it and, and don't go back. Then you're not gonna feel it. More like a front, like a straight, okay? And hold it, 25 to 30 seconds and relax. And third variation for that, if you cannot do tolerate this, I'm going to show you the stretching of IT band on the left leg. So your right leg, you're going to go cross and pull it this way. Make sure your back is down. Don't turn the back straight down. And relax. Okay. So the third stretching is for the um, piriformis muscle. So for piriformis, figure of four, okay, I'm stretching my right piriformis. Simply, I can just push it down, bring it up and hold it. That's the one way to do it. If you want to get more stretch, lift up and go like this. Hold 25 to 30 seconds. The other way to stretch the piriform is in on the table. Um, uh, the other way to stretch the piriform is, is you put your leg higher like this, bend it, keep your thigh down, okay, and lean forward. And back. The fourth stretching I'm going to show you is for the hip flexors. The hip flexors are iliopsoas, which is right in front of the thigh. If you have a tight iliopsoas, your pelvic is going to tilt forward. That increases the curvature in your back. That also increases the pressure in your back, which can lead to a back pain. So, way to stretch it: you go on the edge, you go on the edge of the table, 
and simply keep this leg up and this one just go down like this okay and you're gonna feel the stretch right here hold it and 25 seconds to 30 seconds hold make sure in this position you're not arching your back too much because if you arch your back too much to stretch this uh, this area you may end up with the back pain so you have to make sure your back is flat you're just pushing the hip down like this so I'm not feeling much in my back my abdominal is tight I'm breathing normally and I'm pushing it down and relax other way to stress the hip flexors you can go on the sideline keep this bend and the other leg go back and relax 25 second to 30 second hold and relax for the quadriceps stretch you're going to lay down and simply bend it and you can use your leg to push it bend it and use your hand to push it or other leg to push it like this the other variation is sideline okay and then bend your leg like this so to stretch the hip flexor you're going back to stretch the quadriceps you're keeping it neutral but you're bending your knee and hold 25 to 30 seconds and the last stretching is for the calf for the calf you can go in the long sitting position and just pull it up there are so many different ways to stretch the calf in standing in sitting in laying down this is just the basic one so all these stretchings are very helpful to improve your flexibility to move your joints better you got to make sure you hold for 25 to 30 seconds so when you hold that long you're activating the Golgi tendon in the muscle and that helps you to loosen up so in the beginning our muscle has a stretch reflex so when you stretch your muscle it fights to come back okay but when you hold long enough like 25 to 30 seconds the Golgi tendon in our muscle gets activated and basically it gives up that okay we got to relax the muscle now that is the reason that you have to make sure you hold 25 to 30 seconds another tip during the stretch is to make sure your body doesn't compensate because when you have a tightness when you're trying to stretch there are likely you're going to compensate with your back so when you're stretching your um, iliopsoas for example your hip flexors there are chances you're going to arch your back okay so do make sure about your positioning do make sure your breathing is normal so those are the small small tips but that can really help you to avoid any injuries during the stretch Again, this is Singh Kat from Sharecure Therapy and Wellness. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Visit our website, surecurewellness.com. Thank you so much.